Taurus, welcome to what's happening with the Eck. This is for the week of January 29th, where we will look at a current situation, what's currently going on in your ex's life, what they're thinking, how they're feeling, um, if they're taking action. We will look at their current situation. We'll also take a look at what their hopes and fears are. And then we'll move over to Vimeo and look at what's blocking them, what the advice and outcome is, as well as uh, a glimpse, a little snippet of what's to come over the next one to two week period of time. So currently your ex has just dealt with and they're going through a transformation they're making changes in their life now the tower card is about making changes a change in belief system a change in something we do this can be something minor it can be something major this comes up oftentimes in my readings uh, for my clients this will come up when they're going through a actual transformation so for some of you your ex and you are actually soulmates but regardless change is taking place in their life and you know when we go through changes and we really evaluate all the people all the situations or if we turn upside down financially it's all about focusing in on trying to fix and repair and rebuild whatever this tower tore down it's change of belief system is what I'm hearing for your ex they're seeing things in a whole different way right now so they've been going through this process and as we go through and it, as, while we're in a transformation and we go through it we realize who our true friends are who our friends are not who we have to get rid of in our lives what type of situation this could be a change in work okay this could be completely redoing their entire life which is what i'm hearing for your ex okay like they've made so many changes they've cut people out they're absolutely exhausted because that's what happens when we make change in our life you know when something turns our world upside down or shatters our belief system you know the sky is is pink and then somebody says no it's blue look at it look at it closer closer and you see it's blue now you, your whole life is like whoa my whole life it's been blue I didn't know that that's what they're going through making changes and they're getting their strength back okay they are working at, at, at getting that courage to take action and communicate with you now for some of you you may have reached out to your ex and it threw them into this tower mode which is making them think who do I want in my life do I want this person back in my life do you know um, so by you reaching out is making them have to have courage to communicate back but what I'm really hearing for this particular group they're trying to re recoup their energy their confidence level because as we go through the transformation it's almost like you know in the military how we are stripped down our military does that you know and then they rebuild their thinking because they're turning them into men who are defending our country so they can't be bothered with past baggage and things like that so it's all about focusing on what the goal is here so they are getting ready to communicate to you to reach out and take action now this communication is um, electronic communication so when they do reach out it'll probably be via text message or email it could be phone but I'm seeing email on this one okay email 
but but they have to get the courage to actually move forward so as they've gone through this transformation the clarifying card is the four of swords this is about rest regroup let go of all this negative stuff that they have just realized and tried to get out of their life so it's exhausting they have to regroup their energy and regain regain that confidence and that level of um courage to move forward to take this action but this is where they're currently at so they realize they may have had messages come in their dreams where they saw profoundly saw that you the two of you need to re-engage okay reconnect on some level whether it's for a relationship or just the communication the heart-to-heart -heart conversation to see where you're going to go so what we're going to look at now is their actual hopes and fears okay we have the eight of sword and the two of sword they're really really having difficulty coming out of the negative aspect of whatever this change has taken place in their life this may be you this may be a combination of you and everything all together because they're exhausted they're stuck in their thinking okay their hope is to get out of this and to get the strength is what i'm hearing for this group is to let go of all that negative thinking and actually make the decision to communicate to you so they're really really afraid they're absolutely terrified so this is really about them getting rid of all the negative uh thinking that they're doing the ruminating thoughts the what ifs and well he said she said kind of a thing and being clear and decisive to take action in their life and communicate reach out and make this step very very bold you know this is about being bold and brave okay pulling a sense of strength within that we didn't even know we had we had no idea so right now they're going under this um, resting period their hope is to come out of it and make a decision but they also are very much in fear of it because of that negative thinking but meditation rest let go of the negative thinking this is the underlying message that is behind what's going on here so what we're going to look at now is what is truly blocking them what the advice and the outcome is for your ex and then we're going to take a look at what's to come in the very near future so if you want to click the link below i will it'll shoot you to vimeo and i will see you on the other side